Billions of people are staring at the sky. Their eyes reflect a fascinating picture of how the planet's atmosphere is changing. The blue sky is becoming brighter and is taking on a dark blue hue. It looks like a drop of paint spilled in a glass of water. Birds have stopped flying. Animals go crazy because they feel something is happening. Lightning flashes somewhere and the sky turns fiery orange. This is an approximate visual picture of what would happen if Jupiter's gas poured onto Earth. But let's find out what physical and chemical changes would happen in our world. First, we need to understand what Jupiter is and what it consists of. The largest planet in the solar system is a massive ball of gas. About 90% of this gas is hydrogen and the remaining 10% is helium. Of course, there are other substances too, but their amount is insignificant compared to hydrogen. If you enter Jupiter's atmosphere and jump down, you would keep flying straight towards the planet's core for a very long time. Scientists don't know exactly what the core of Jupiter is made of. There may be something solid and gigantic. Anyway, most of the time, you would be flying through blue layers of hydrogen, closer and closer to the planet's center. But why isn't this gas spreading in different directions? All thanks to Jupiter's gravity. The mass of the planet holds this gas together. Now, let's find out what hydrogen is. It's the simplest and most common chemical element consisting of one proton and one electron. Simply put, it's a universal gas that can store and deliver various energy. 90% of all atoms in the universe are made up of hydrogen. Hydrogen is a part of a lot of stuff, like water, many biological substances, atomic energy, and many more. Therefore, to get hydrogen in its pure form, people extract it from various substances using chemical actions. Hydrogen is inside our fluids, joints, bones, and muscles. It ensures the functioning of our bodies and contributes to the existence of life on the planet. Also, hydrogen slows down the process of aging. But if our planet received a huge dose of Jupiter's hydrogen, it wouldn't make us better, younger, and stronger. Hydrogen is only effective in combination with other substances. To benefit from it, you need complex chemical processes. But what about helium, which is also Jupiter's gas? It's lighter than air because of its low density. That's why helium-filled balloons rise up. People use this substance in medicine to treat respiratory diseases and to cool magnets and processes inside the MRI. Nothing terrible would happen if a massive amount of this gas got into our atmosphere. Our voices might become a little thinner. In any case, hydrogen would bring many more problems. Let's imagine that some cosmic force is moving Jupiter towards our planet. Then for some reason, the core of Jupiter disappears. Hydrogen and helium begin to leak into outer space and fly to the nearest source of gravity, our Earth. The sky starts to turn a brighter blue. This happens because of the connection of water molecules with hydrogen molecules. Atmospheric pressure is increasing. Animals are going mad and people are getting headaches. A few seconds later, the pressure disappears because hydrogen is easily ignited. Any spark can start a chain reaction. Hydrogen could burn the entirety of Earth's atmosphere, consisting of nitrogen, helium, oxygen, and other gases. All life on Earth would be erased in a matter of seconds. A tremendous amount of energy would be released. Earth's temperature would be only two or three times colder than the sun's temperature and almost four times as hot as the surface of Venus. All the oceans would hiss and evaporate. Then the hot water vapor would fly away into space. Atmospheric pressure would disappear, but nobody would care about that. The planet would look like a big scorched desert. But what if people were ready for this? What if no one lit a match and people replaced all metals with plastic or wood? Unfortunately, it wouldn't help. There are millions of lightning strikes in the world every day. Any of them would ignite the atmosphere and destroy all living beings. People would have to figure out how to stop lightning strikes forever. But that would cause another problem. Lightning is necessary for our world to keep an electric balance on the planet. 
But anyway, this is a topic for another video. Luckily, pouring Jupiter's gases into our planet's atmosphere will never happen because Jupiter is too far away from us and its core will not disappear. But what if you flew to this planet and threw a match into its atmosphere? Nothing would happen. The match would go out the moment it leaves the spaceship. Fire burns only when it's in contact with air, and there is too little oxygen in Jupiter's atmosphere. Besides, it's contained in water molecules, and this is insufficient to create a flame. But what would happen if our planet became a gas giant like Jupiter? For this to happen, Earth must have a huge gravity. Jupiter holds all these gases because of its enormous weight. It's heavier than all the planets of the solar system combined and a hundredfold heavier than Earth. Imagine what would happen if our world's core started increasing in size and mass. If the planet got such a mass, all living things would disappear because of the enormous pressure. Earth would become the heaviest space body in the solar system, not counting the sun. But life on the other planets wouldn't change much. Oh, but the moon wouldn't be as lucky. The increased gravity of Earth would attract our natural satellite and tear it apart. The moon would split into billions of parts and possibly form a belt around our planet. It would look like another Saturn. And what if Saturn used to be similar to our Earth? What if life once flourished on its surface? It could be a beautiful planet with oceans, forests, and mountains. But then something went wrong and its core increased in mass. Its atmosphere began to grow and change the gravity of neighboring satellites. They collapsed and formed a huge belt around Saturn. And now, let's look at changes that would happen if Earth got Jupiter's gases slowly. Imagine our atmosphere filling with hydrogen gradually. In this case, new forms of life would appear on Earth's surface, like microbes and bacteria. Some of them could later develop into big forms of life. In the next thousands of years, the animal world on our planet would change beyond recognition. Perhaps we would see the appearance of new species of animals, microbes and insects, and the disappearance of older ones. The consequences would be unpredictable. Fortunately, this won't happen. Right now, our planet has an ideal atmosphere. All life forms in this world are adapted perfectly to the amount of hydrogen that we have. By the way, there's a theory that Earth was originally the core of some gas giant. Billions of years ago, our planet could have been inside a gas giant close to the edge of the solar system. Perhaps this big guy was further away from Jupiter and Saturn. So this unknown planet traveled around the sun and then it began to fall apart. Inside it, there was a collapse caused by the gravity of neighboring planets. The gas dissipated and our Earth came out of the cloud. Then, it approached the Sun and took the orbit it follows now. And what if the same thing happens to Jupiter in a couple of billion years? For example, hundreds of giant asteroids could fly past it and destabilize the gas giant's atmosphere. Some of the asteroids would fall on the planet, provoking a strong release of energy. Jupiter would begin to fall apart and change its position in the solar system. And then, through the clouds of hydrogen, we'd see a solid core and then it would get out of the gas cloud and approach our planet. Life would start forming there, and people would call this planet Earth 2. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.